हेलो एवरी वन माई सेल्फ प्रोफेसर तुषार गुजराती फ्रॉम एस एन डी कॉलेज ऑफ इंजीनियरिंग एंड रिसर्च सेंटर येवला सो टुडे विल डिस्कस वन टॉपिक बेस्ड ऑन मैकेट्रॉनिक सब्जेक्ट विच इज रिलेटेड टू पी एल सी एंड द नेम ऑफ टॉपिक इज इंट्रोडक्शन टू स्काडा सो धीस स्काडा डिवाइस इज वेरी यूजफुल इन इंडस्ट्रियल एटोमेशन पर्पज ओके सो लेट स्टार्ट विथ धीस इंट्रोडक्शन सो स्काडा द फुल फॉर्म ऑफ स्काडा इज सुपरवाइजरी कंट्रोल एंड डाटा एक्विजिशन सुपरवाइजरी कंट्रोल एंड डाटा एक्विजिशन इज अ टाइप ऑफ इंडस्ट्रियल कंट्रोल सिस्टम दैट मॉनिटर्स एंड कंट्रोल्स इंडस्ट्रियल प्रोसेसिस दैट एक्जिस्ट इन द फिजिकल वर्ल्ड सो इन इंडस्ट्रीयल कंट्रोल सिस्टम देर आर मेनी प्रोसेसिस आर देयर इन इंडस्ट्री विच एक्जिस्ट इन फिजिकल फॉर्म ओके सो टू कंट्रोल एंड मॉनिटर ऑल दीज फिजिकल प्रोसेसिस वी नीड सम डिवाइस so the so the device used is supervisory control and data acquisition so which controls all the processes as well as acquires data continuously in order if in order to monitor all the processes so the industrial processes include those of manufacturing production power generation fabrication and refining and may run in continuous batch repetitive or discrete modes so in any mode if the any processes works then it is called as industrial processes so we can control all the processes with the help of scada okay so let's study what are the components of a scada system so a scada system usually consists of following sub systems a human machine interface or it is called as hmi which presents process data to a human operator and through this the human operator monitors and controls the process okay so there is one human machine interface so human machine interface means what machine gives us data which is processed properly and human can control with the help of this data any monit any control any process okay so human can control any processes or monitor the data with the help of this human machine interface hmi also we need a supervisory system which is computer a supervisory computer system acquiring data on the process and sending commands to the process so for acquiring data storing that data and for commanding on that data we need a computer device which is called as supervisory system again there are some rtus are used which is remote terminal units connecting to the sensors in the process converting sensor signals to the digital data and sending digital data to the supervisory system okay so these rtus are connected to the sensors in the processes suppose one process is there so process has many sensors so these sensors are connected to remote terminal units so these remote terminal units convert sensor signals to digital data and sending digital data to the supervisory system okay so this is the work of remote terminal units also we need here plcs programmable logic controllers used as a field devices because they are economical versatile and flexible so we need plcs to control processes because of their economical versatile and flexible nature communication infrastructure connecting the supervisory system to the rtus so we need some communication infrastructure also for connecting the supervisory system to the rtus okay communication system means what some wire form or any other communication devices lan wires for connecting supervisory system to the rtus okay now let's see the scada architecture so there are more four important points are here first is rto that is remote terminal unit second is mtu which is master terminal unit third is data acquisition system which acquires data and fourth is hmi machine, human machine interface so here you can see here these are all rtus okay this is rtus are shown over here this rtus send signal to this mtu okay so this mtu from this mtu data is acquired by data acquisition system so this is data acquisition system which acquires all the data and then it is given to this hmi human machine interface or it is also called as supervisory system 
so like this there are four important parts in this architecture so all the data is stored in this hmi and shown to the human for controlling the processes so this is one practical example is shown how scada system works so in this case you see now the scada system computer is shown over here so this is scada system computer okay so the scada system reads the measured flow and level data and sends the set points to the plc so scada system what is the purpose of scada system it reads the measured flow and level data and sends the set points to the plc so what is here here pump is shown okay one pump is here and second one is one cylinder is there where the fluid gets filled okay so here two inputs are there one is flow data so flow data is measured over here and given to plc and second one is level data level data is given to this plc number 2 okay so like this there are two plcs plc1 and plc2 which controls this pump and this cylinder okay so this flow data and level data is given to this computer and computer sends set points to this plcs so what the action, what the action should be taken so this is given by plcs so the set points are given to the plcs so plcs are over shown over here this plcs give action to this pump that is pump control data is given to this pump and wall control data is given to this wall okay so like this a simple pump and cylinder gets control with the help of this scada system that is a supervisory control system okay and data is continuously acquired and it is shown in through this computer device to the human and human takes action okay so like this the scada system